Hello, gear sluts. Uh, I'm Paul Isaacs from Sound Devices. Um, I'm here at IBC 2019 and um, I've been given the privilege by our friend at Gear Sluts to tell you about some of our cool new products which have literally come out in the last week. So I'd like to talk to you about our new Mix Pre series Generation 2 which just started shipping last week. Um, just to give you a bit of background, Sound Devices is a company famous for producing portable mixers and recorders primarily for the film and TV market. Um, but several years ago, we started um, produce, bringing our technology of our really great quality uh, audio, uh, mic preamps, and robust build of portable products to a wider audience. And that was our first generation Mix Pre, which were very small battery powered mixer recorders, which also uh, trebled up as USB audio interfaces. And we had a lot of success with those, but we've learned a lot as well um, from many of the different types of users who've been using them, like YouTubers, podcasters, um, videographers, many different users, sound effects people. So with all that information that we learned, we decided to build a next generation, um, generation two. That's what I'm showing here. Um, we've got um, three models in this range. We have the Generation 2 Mix Pre 3, Mix Pre 6, and Mix Pre 10. And um, the higher the number, the more inputs and, and outputs you get. So the, the 3 has got, um, uh, you can have three channels in a mix, the 6 has got six channels in a mix, and the 10 has got 10 channels in a mix. The, one of the big differences from the previous generation is they all have time code generators built in. And in the previous generation, it was only the Model 10 which had a time code generator, the 10T. But now all three models, including the 6 and the even smaller 3, which is over there, it's in the distance, um, has got time code generator. So this is, makes it to be an excellent tool for any picture for sound application, um, for synchronizing with picture. Um, very accurate time code. The sound device is very well known for time code, so you get that really excellent time code. Um, low drift time code. Uh, you can jam the units to external time code um, and you can now have the 6 and 10 act as a master time code. And the way you get time code out of the unit is via the stereo out port um, on the side here. And um, it's simple, you just go into your outputs menu and set your stereo out to time code or LTC out here. So that's one great feature. The other thing that we've done is we've added the ability to record 32-bit float files. So with the Mixbury 2 Gen series, we have this uh, input stage, um, and which includes the mic preamp and the ADC, which has a, a super wide dynamic range of 142 dBs. Now that enables you to um, record with ultra low noise even if your fader levels are essentially virtually at zero. Um, and you can also um, record with ultra high levels without distortion. So you could set all your gains really super high so that your meters are clipping blood red, but you're still not going to clip the audio. And that's by virtue of the fact that we have really wide dynamic range input stage and, and multi-stage ADC architecture, which can handle that wide dynamic range, and the 32-bit float file, which can basically accommodate such a wide range. So this is uh, a first for the industry. Um, it's great if you accidentally set your levels too high, um, or you can pull down those levels in your door and uh, and and unclip, effectively unclip the audio. Um, so yeah, it's a really cool feature. The other thing that we can do now is all models have the ability to record to a USB thumb drive as well as the internal SD card. So you have essentially a ready-made backup for you at the end of uh, a day's shoot. Um, all three models now have more memory, which gives you up to 10 seconds of pre-roll buffer. That's a nice feature just in case. Uh, and the idea of that is if you've accidentally hit your record button too late, you can capture 10 seconds prior to you hitting the button. Um, 
and then we have now adjustable limiters. Now on the Mix Pre Series Generation 1 we had limiters, um, but they weren't adjustable. They were analog limiters, really great sounding analog limiters. Um, but with this new generation, you can now adjust the parameters of that limiter. So you can adjust the threshold, the point at which the limiter cuts in. You can adjust the ratio of the, thre of the limiter as well as the release time. So you can optimize that for different things, whether you're recording dialogue or music or sound effects. Now, obviously in 32-bit float mode, you don't really need limiters because you've got this massive dynamic range and you can't click. So limiters are not available in 32-bit float mode. So that's essentially the highlights of the Generation 2. They still support all um, external controllers that we introduced with the Series 1. So we support via USB um, controllers like the Novation Launch Control, the Korg and Nano Control Studio, um, and the Akai MIDI Mix. Um, we support Ambisonics. Um, so we work with the Ambio microphones, so if you're into capturing audio for VR and you want surround audio, you can work with Ambisonics microphones. We even have binaural um, headphone decoding, so you can listen to the surround space in, your, in any pair of headphones. Um, so we, we've got uh, built-in Bluetooth on these devices as well, such that you can use an Android or iOS app called Wingman to monitor the meter levels and um, enter metadata and uh, record start and stop and all these things. So that's a very brief overview of what this is about. They're available now. And uh, I think you know the price points are for the Mix Pre 3 Gen 2 is $649. I think that transcribes to euros pretty much the same. For the uh, Mix Pre 6, which is the six input version just here, um, that's 849, and then the 10 is 1399, which is actually about $400 cheaper than the original Mix Pre 10T. So there you go. Thanks for listening, and have a great day.